It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Overtone Brewing Company. And it's a can of the Enigma Equinot New England IPA. 7% ABV. 440 milliliter can. They're doing exactly what I first predicted they were going to do, Overtone. And that is they are completely wiping the board at the moment. They are completely clearing up. Everybody wants to drink their beer. Um, it's proper top quality beer. I was lucky enough to start when they started their journey over tone about two or three years ago now. They started sending me beer um, from Glasgow in Scotland. And yeah, I predicted from very, very early on that this brewery were going to do great things. It took a while. As sometimes it does. Sometimes it takes a while for the whispers to start going around that it's a great beer. But when the whispers started, they soon become kind of people shouting in the street. They weren't, they weren't whispers anymore. So, saying all that, hope it's good. 7% New England IPA. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. With a smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Yeah, look at that. Looks good. One to two finger white head. Uh, good levels of carbonation. Beautiful, beautiful hazy beer. And the aroma, the aroma is just tremendous. I haven't even got it to my nose. It's a foot away. It's a foot away from me. And I'm all, already picking up pineapple chunks, tin pineapple chunks. Look at it. Look at the beer. Look at the quality of this New England IPA. Let's now get this aroma. Oh, it's just top, top, top quality. Pineapple, passion fruit, mango. Amazing. Amazing aroma. You get a sense of the oats. You definitely get a little sense of the oats. Creaminess in there. Not that you can smell creaminess, but you can just sense it. You can sense it by looking. You can sense it by just getting your nose in. It smells great. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, ho, 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 yeah, amazing stuff. Look at it, look at it. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit. Tin pineapple chunks. Great drinkability. Little, little, little bit of bitterness on the back end. But this beer is so chock full of hops, it's unreal. Unreal. I like that slight lingering bitterness. Yes, it's a New England IPA. But the amount of hops this brewery throws in a beer, you're going to get a little bit of bitterness. There's no real denying it. And the brewery probably put a little bit of hops in the boil to give it a little bit of bitterness. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I'm going to take a, a wild stab. I'm going to say it's oats. I never look at the side of the can before I review a beer. I go into it blind. I know it's got Enigma and Equinot, is it? Enigma, Equinot, New England IPA, because it's part of the label. But I don't know if it's oats, I don't know if it's lactose, but I'm gonna choose, 
I'm going to choose oats. I'm going to say this is definitely ha has oats in the beer. Um, it, oats, for me, produces a much better mouthfeel than if you use lactose. There's a lot of brewers now that are chucking lactose in their New England IPAs and their IPAs. And for me, it just doesn't work. <clears throat> it's my own personal preference. You might drink the beer. You might go, yeah, I, I like lactose in my New England IPA or my IPA, but I'm not a fan. I much prefer oats. Oats give you much more flavour. Oats give you a much more natural kind of creaminess. And, and I'm going to guess oats in this beer literally all day long. There's no real sign of lactose. That kind of oil slick slipperiness you get from lactose. Poor old lactose. I mean, we did a live feed last night, the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And we got into an in-depth conversation about oats and lactose and vice versa. And there was a couple of brewers watching. And um, I really bashed lactose last night. I really bashed lactose on the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. And it seems like I'm bashing it again now. But for me, lactose has its place. Lactose has its place in, in Imperial Stouts and... And Imperial Porters. I do like lactose in, in Imperial Porters, Imperial Stouts. But I'm not a massive fan of lactose in New England IPAs or IPAs or Pale Ales. Um, it just doesn't work. It just it just gives off a real kind of awful artificial kind of feeling in the mouthfeel. <clears throat> but for Stouts and Porters it just seems to work. It just seems to work so, so much better. Especially if they're kind of like nitro infused as well. But this is good, very drinkable. You wouldn't believe it was 7% ABV. Uh, there's no real alcohol burn. The beer is just drinking so, so well for that 7% ABV. Overtone Brewing Company, uh, this is an extremely special beer. Using Enigma and Equinot in large numbers, this New England brings tropical fruits and berries and a wee bit of dankness. Certainly does. Right. The hops are Citra, Enigma and Equinot. The malts are Pale, Maris, Otter, Oats and Wheat. There we go. Oats and Wheat. And the yeast is London 3. Uh, they're based in uh, New Albion, Glasgow. New Albion Industrial Estate, I should say. In Glasgow. Uh, 440 can, 7% ABV, natural, unfiltered, unfine and vegan friendly beer. Brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm a massive fan of Overtone. Big, big, big fan of their beer. And I'm glad I went on that journey with them from start to kind of like where they are now. Doing some great stuff. Everybody talking about their beer. They're kind of hitting the heights of cloud water verdant you know everybody's talking about their beer it's just good it's just really really good let's rate it fantastic lacing on the glass good levels of carbonation lovely lovely looking beer lovely smelling beer great tasting beer I like Darren Nutty, I'm going to stone the crows 10 out of 10. So 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.